people don't look at a utility as a utility. They look at it as just another organization they're reaching out to. They want to have the same experience with their local utility as they do if they're going on Zappos or Amazon or to their online bank. It's these other industries that are driving the expectations that utility consumers have. Domino's can track my pizza from the moment I order it to the moment it goes in the oven to being on the way to the moment it's at my door. Why can't you tell me when my lights are going to go back on? So with that being the case, um, utilities have to once again react because this is what people expect. I mean, nobody wants to pull up a web and start expanding your website on your phone because it's not mobile optimized. It's the technology and really the legacy systems that aren't enabling them to get there. Some of the biggest challenges they're having with the customer experience really is bringing together this whole new paradigm shift on how do you platform for it. 50% of utilities currently have a strategy in place to deliver a consistent and high quality customer experience. Of course, you know, the folks that are leading the implementation of that strategy, they like to see more budget and more people. I think it's definitely people, process, and technology too. One of the biggest things we see in the utility space for people asking from us and what we're doing is preference management centers. Looking across the utility landscape, about 44% of utilities today have some sort of preference portal where consumers can tell them what they want. You've got probably all but about 10 or 12% of the remainder planning to do a preference center either this year or next year so it's really it's really coming on strong and the interesting thing is that we're seeing a lot of utilities taking a stepwise approach to developing those preference centers right you start off with outage notifications for example and maybe you have two channels give me a call or text me but then over time they're expanding to include other things like high bill alerts or bill due date notifications and other channels like email even the snail mail even utilities that are embracing this whole customer experience and these digital platforms pretty well, many of them are still siloed divisions. Like the social group might be totally disconnected from PR, which is totally disconnected from customer service, which is totally disconnected from billing and finance. Those are some of the walls that are starting to come down, but you've got regulations and compliance that you have to watch and be careful with on the data sharing, so. Once you really figure out the kind of value or the kind of experience that you're trying to deliver to your customers, and you understand what data is necessary to actually drive that experience, then you can be much more strategic. It's critical, you know, it's sort of kind of step one because especially with utilities, they, they're not lacking for data. That you don't need to pull the full data stream from the ERP system on the finance side. All you need are a couple data points from them that you can use that maybe desensitizes the whole situation. And it's not a huge data integration project. It's not as time consuming or expensive and you can actually get it done. The utilities that we see that are doing it right are being very intentional about their strategy, how they're going to go about engaging their customer, the kind of customer experience they're going to offer, the kind of value that they're going to offer their customer, and then they're putting their resources in the right places to enable those things to actually happen. And once you do, you know, maybe you have personas, you have a market segmentation study completed, you understand kind of the journey map that your clients should take. How do you take that and put it into a digital platform where you can actually really manage it? There's a lot of education that's still taking place on moving some of the effort from IT over into marketing or communication groups, is that transformation is happening? So when we look at, at utilities, really ease of use is a big factor. I was just reading a, a case study the other day looking at how to reduce frictions for online bill pay, for example. One utility in Florida has streamlined its process so when you get your bill in the email, there's a button click to pay. And if you have stored your credit card information previously, that one click takes care of your bill. It's really easy. People click it, it's done. They're getting paid fast. So that's an example, just a, a small part of the customer experience and how that can be done really well. The digital transformation is in full swing and utilities are engaging. We're excited about being a part of that and being able to come in and work with Sitecore platforms and Microsoft platforms and whatever platforms they already have in place. So we'd love being able to take all those just the data pieces, put them together and be able to tell the story and make it safe. So it's that crawl, walk, run, fly kind of um, mentality that the utilities are, are beginning to embrace.